Hi there, it's Jennifer Trask, Mindset Coach and Business Advisor for Coaches and Healers. And I have a question for you. Have you ever found yourself saying, there's not enough time and there's not enough money? Ah, if you have, we're going to help eliminate those words from your vocabulary because I'm telling you, they're not serving you. So how do we go about eliminating these words uh, from your vocabulary and actually meaning it, like really feeling like, oh my God, there is more than enough time. And there is more than enough money. It's everywhere. Woohoo! <laughs> the first is to realize that these sentences are memes. They're memes that you picked up on. And what is a meme? A meme is really just a belief that uh, has kind of gone through people and you picked up on it and you thought that sounds right. And then you started believing it and now you're perpetuating it in your experience. That's all that it is. Um, so there are some people who believe that there's more than enough time and there's more than enough money. And guess what? For them, there is. The money always shows up. They always have more than enough time to get things done and they never feel the way that you feel. So the first thing is understanding that those are belief patterns that you have and that they just need to be broken. So let's break them down. How do you break them? So the first is by, um, I think we need to go backwards for a second. I want you to realize that if this is a meme you've had for a while, you've probably realized that as you've made more money in your life and time has gone on, you've still felt that way. So what do you mean? What do I mean by that? Just watch this. Let's say, I, I'm going to pick random numbers. Let's say you make $50,000 a year and you have this belief that there's not enough money. But throughout your, you know, a couple years later, you're, you're growing, you're growing your business, you're in your work, whatever, and now you make $100,000 a year. Do you ever notice how no matter how your income goes up, there's still not enough money? Isn't that interesting? And for some reason you think hitting the next level, it's going to get you more money. But the reality is that because there's not enough money is a meme and a belief. It means that no matter how much money you have, you're always going to feel like there's not enough money. And the same thing with time, no matter how much time freedom you get for yourself, you're still going to feel like there's not enough time. This is the problem you see. So we have to recognize that changing the changing our life circumstances aren't going to change these beliefs. The beliefs have to change first. And then what's going to happen is we're going to see things in our reality different. Because otherwise, no matter how much you make, there's not going to be enough money. And no matter how much time you have, there's not going to be enough time. And we can't have that because that's not a fun way to live. So I think by first understanding that rule and recognizing it, meaning going back in your past, and I bet you, if you believe this for a long time, you're making more money now than you made before when you believed you didn't have enough money and you still feel that way. And the reality is because we're progress driven, right? As human beings, we're always trying to grow. We always want more. So when you're making, you know, a hundred thousand dollars, all of a sudden you can see different opportunities, which, you know, maybe you need more resources for. So this is what perpetuates the, there's not enough moneyness and there's not enough time. So how do we break them? The first thing that you have to do to break them is by first recognizing this. So now we've done it. We've watched, you've watched this video. We just heard it. We just realized it's a meme. And it's not a truth. It's not a universal truth that there's not enough money or time. So I think that first conscious choice of saying, oh my God, she's right. Like there's, there's more than enough money. There's more than enough time because there is, there's a perpetual amount of time. We always have more time. We have more time right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. You see where I'm going with this? There's more money being printed right now, right now, right now. It's not that there's a lack of time or money. It is your perception of it. So what we need to do is recognize that the most important things always get done and we need to shift our focus to those instead of all the stuff that we'd like to get done but never tend to get done or we'd like to invest in or buy but we never buy. So what do I mean by that? I really feel that this whole problem of there's not enough money, there's not enough time comes because people are focused on the wrong stuff. So let me give you an example. In entrepreneurship, when we're growing our coaching businesses, there's a million and one ways to market your business. And I think that particularly newer entrepreneurs who are trying different things, and I totally get it, you get into shiny objects and so you're like, I'd like to do this and I'd like to do that. And, Ooh, Facebook ads and let's try this and let's try that. And the problem with all this stuff is that you spread yourself too thin and guess what? There's not enough time. And guess what? There's not enough money to do it all. You see where this is going? But if you decide, I'm going to do 
these three things and I'm going quality over quantity, meaning I'm going to kick ass at these three things and the rest of the shiny objects can go over here for when I just decide to reevaluate one day. But for now, here's where I'm focused. And then you can say, okay, I have this budget. What do I want to do to maximize this budget? And then as you may bring more money in, you can build on the pot and maximize that. You see, the reason why people say there's not enough money, there's not enough money and they're not of time, because they're focused on all the shit they can't do. Because the reality is you can't do everything and there's always more money to be made. So you have to focus on what you have because as we know, what we appreciate appreciates, right? So instead of focusing on what you can't do, you've got to focus on what you can do. And you've got to give yourself permission to let go of the things that are not priority, of the things that are not quality over the quantity. That's the thing that will break this pattern for you because otherwise you're going to hit new income levels. You're going to hit new time freedom and you're going to still feel the same way. And you know what? It's a crappy way to feel. It's a crappy way to feel like there's never enough money and there's never enough time, but there's more than enough time to get everything you want. That's most important to you. There always is. It always works. And there's more than enough uh, money for you to get what you really want, but you have to, First, appreciate what's in front of you and maximize that. Because here's the thing, once you learn how to maximize small amounts of money, the more money you get, you're going to be able to maximize that, maximize that. And then you're going to start to get some leverage and then your money is going to expand, 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 expand. And it's just going to be so much fun. So that's all you need to do. Keep it super simple. Don't overcomplicate your life by trying to be every, all things to all people by trying to invest in everything when the reality is it's not even smart to invest in a whole bunch of stuff because then you're not even going to be able to um, focus on what you've invested in and maximize it. So the, so to be honest with you, even if you wanted to do like a bunch of courses or hire this person or that person or learn Facebook ads and Google ads and Instagram ads and do this and do that, like the reality is you can only do so much at once anyways. So we're going to take a nice deep breath. Ah, I'm going to focus on what matters. Make your priorities, make your musts and maximize your current resources so that you can maximize them. And that will, the universe will be like, wow, look at them maximizing it up. She is in an abundant state and bring in more. And that is what you want. And that is what is good. And that's what helps you see, oh my God, there is more than enough money. Oh my God, this is working. Oh my God, I did get my to-do list done today because your to-do list needs to be focused only on the most important things, not the 10,000 little things, right? And when, you, and when you can say, these are the things that I wanna get done today. One, two, three, that's it. If I get any of these other things done, which eventually do need to get done, that's a bonus, great. But I wanna get these things done. The last tip that I'm gonna tell you is when you do those things, um, give yourself a stretch goal. Think, how long is it going to take me to do it? And race against the clock. I think it's going to take me two hours. Give yourself an hour and a half instead and really go hard at it. Turn off all social media, turn off your phone, turn off everything and just get that task done. And I bet you what you're going to find, if you can eliminate all distraction and you can give yourself a time goal that's like, you're like, oh, could I, couldn't I, maybe I could. If you really race yourself against it, you'll get it done. I guarantee it almost every time. It's not going to work every time, but almost every time you'll probably get it done in less time than you think. Now this isn't about uh, like a 10 hour project and saying, I'm going to get it done in two hours. Like the reality is, you know, I'm saying stretch yourself. Okay. I think I really think this could probably really take me two hours. Well, give yourself an hour and a half. And, and what I think what you're going to find is if you're super focused, this is only if you're focused with no distractions, you're going to end up having a lot more time. And then ironically, you're going to get a lot more of those little things on your list that once the priorities are done, you're going to start getting those done too. And you're going to be like, wow, there's so much time. I got so much done. <laughs> and the same thing happens with money. It's the same thought process. So that's it. What I would love to hear from you now is, has this ever happened to you? Do you have these thoughts? Are you willing to try this new way of thinking out? Please put it in the comments below. And also if you have something that you have found useful to get rid of these negative memes in your life, please do let us know in the comments. 
And if you like this video, please share it with your friends. I would love it and so would they. So thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next time.